Its remnants are now almost invisible. But once, the Hippodrome dominated the city. Completed in the 4th century, it was the Emperor Constantine's most grandiose showpiece. A demonstration of the might and wealth of the Empire and its new Eastern capital. More than 400 meters long, it was planned to the last detail. The Emperor's box was even connected via a tunnel to the palace. For Tafin and Yan, the reconstruction presented particular challenges. There are no surviving images of the original building to act as their guide. But remnants of the building still exist. From these, and archaeologists' work on the excavation, precise measurements could be fed into the computer. These were then compared with the various contemporary written accounts that describe the Hippodrome at the height of its fame. Did they agree? We wondered if the historical records were correct because historical records tell that it uh, could hold uh, 30,000 people. And uh, I used my 3D model. Uh, I measured all the uh, sitting places uh, of the hippodrome and uh, divided it with uh, 50 or 60 centimeters for each person for a comfortable seat. And we divided that uh, length of the tribunes and uh, we got exactly about 33,000, which is in very good, uh, it fits very good with the historical records. Topped by the four bronze horses of the famous quadrille, later looted by the Venetians, the Hippodrome was an arena where spectators gathered to watch all the great imperial events, coronations, celebrations, chariot racing, even executions. Today, the central obelisks are lonely reminders of the past.